In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to think of a million dollar agent, build it, and then market it to make your first thousand dollars on the internet. Now, why should you trust me? Over the last four years, I've made over 50 plus agents for a variety of industries, been featured on Business Insider, Times Square, and have made multiple six figures selling these bots while traveling the world. In the first seven days of 2025, one of my bots made over $8,000. So I think I know a thing or two, but enough about me. It's time to show you the exact blueprint you can follow to make money on online by building agents. First, let's discuss the idea. Look, you're extremely lucky. You are one of the first people who has seen the opportunity that is agent slash bot development, whatever you want to call it. Many people are sleeping on this space and thanks to them, there's an insane amount of unused ideas that you can think of. There's absolutely no saturation. Agents are simple programs that automate anything. So if you can think of anything in your entire life that you spend time doing manually on the internet again and again, you can automate it literally anything. Want to buy an item off of a store really fast, but you're too slow? Make a checkout agent. Want to get feedback on your online homework before submitting? Make an AI tutor agent. Want to respond to emails from your grandparents without actually having to respond yourself? Make an autoresponder agent. Although for that one, you might want to respond to them yourself. That agent I showed you earlier that made $8,000 in a single month grabs shifts for hotel workers. Simple and straightforward. Now when coming up with an idea, a lot of startup advisors say, go out and validate your idea. Get direct feedback, speak to hundreds of potential customers before writing your first line of code, who got time for that? By the time you finish surveying 100 people, someone will have built a survey agent that surveys a thousand people and the developer of that agent will have probably sold it for $70,000. Don't be slow, man. I can't let you get your heart broken like that. What I recommend you doing are two key things. Listen up. First is find something in your personal life that you like to automate. Become your first customer. If you are the first customer of your bot, you'll be able to answer 99% of questions that startup founders try to find the answers to by serving 100 people because they can't relate to the problem they are trying to solve. You see, I want you making your first $1,000 within a month of watching this. So for that, we are picking the most efficient route. And this is the exact route I take literally almost every time. Now, the second thing you can do to come up with an idea is find out what you can automate in the lives of those closest to you. If you can't find something to automate in your life, which is actually very rare, look for the next closest person to you. This can be your friend with a clothing brand or your sister who owns a flower shop or your classmate who is struggling to do research for his English essay. We all have that one friend who likes slacking on homework. And after all of this, if you can't think of an idea, then just copy another agent. There are different agents that do the same exact thing. If you look at meme coin trading agents, there are at least 10 different ones I can name off to the top of my head that do the exact same thing. Exact carbon copy, some even look the same. But guess what? They all make their developers thousands of dollars every single month. What people get wrong a lot is they think they have to reinvent the wheel or create the next Tesla to make a lot of money or make something actually valuable. No, you can just copy off of what works already ready, add a unique twist to it, and boom, you have a great idea. In fact, here's a million dollar idea that I just thought of but have not created that you can do. And if you do it, I will pay you myself. Create a mass LinkedIn job applier agent. It's easy money if you create it, especially in this job market where everyone's trying to apply to hundreds of jobs, create something that automates that, you're gonna be swimming in cash. So talking about building agents, how exactly are you gonna build your agent? If you're just starting your coding journey or even if you're a tech giga chad, what I'm going to say next applies to you all. You can build an agent agent within a week. Yes, I am serious. Let me break this down before you say it's cap. There are two types of agents. First is mainly web automation and the other is AI automation. For AI agents, all you really need to know is how to use drag and drop platforms such as N8N or voice flow to build your first AI agent in literally 24 hours. Of course, if you know Python, you can create some apps that use LLM's API such as OpenAI's API or now DeepSeek to integrate AI directly within your app. So for that, there is some coding expertise needed. Now, for web automation based agents, you honestly only need to know Node.js, HTML, React, Next.js, and Tailwind CSS. You use Node.js for the back end, use React slash Next.js for the front end, and you can use Vercel for hosting if needed. Now you can be like, oh, actually, Ritesh, we should be using a primarily Python based tech stack because it's the optimal language for agent development. Hey, man, go for it. Do what you think will be best for you. I'm just saying what worked for me for these last four years. And Node.js, I trust. And I'm being 100% honest with you when I say I have built AI agents within 12 hours and got paid $2,500 plus. That is $208 an hour. What? 
The best part about a lot of these agents is they all have the same format. Agents for retail stores all have an add to cart step, a shipping step, and then a final payment step that need to be automated. Once you create a web agent for one retail store, it's almost copy and paste for the others. And with code assistance such as GitHub Copilot and you got Cursor, you can get AI to do most of the work for you, but it gets even better. You see, most agents have a primary job. For some, it can be buying that hard to get shoe on Nike.com or booking a shift or applying for 100 jobs on LinkedIn all at once. Do you think your client cares about how your agent visually looks? No, they care about it working. And this is what makes agents even easier to build. Your agent can legit be a console app that asks users to enter a number to select what to do. Remember my agent that got paid $208 an hour to create? That's literally what it was, a console app. I even made a console app for an agent that bought iPhones and sold that for $2,000. No UI, just a console. So I don't want to hear any excuses when it comes to building your agent. But now, here when it gets a little bit hard. Everyone wants to know, how do you get clients for your agent? I'm going to give you the three blueprints that have made me grow some of my agents to over $8,000 a month in revenue. One of them can earn you income before you even make the agent. So the first blueprint, I use Reddit to market a lot of my agents. And I'm not kidding. I've literally made posts on Reddit that got over 200,000 views and resulted in a lot of people asking me for my specific agent. And I sold it to them and it was great money. And here's a blueprint you got to follow. You make a Reddit account and join this specific subreddit called Entrepreneur. This is a community of nearly 5 million people. Then you got to be active in the comments until your comment karma goes over 10. Then I want you to write a post with a nice clear header where you talk about your experience creating your first agent. Don't try to sell the agent, just talk about your learnings and challenges. People love seeing this. And now here's the effect that this will have. People will upvote your post because they're like, oh cool, this person built something very useful. As your post gets more upvotes, more people will see the post and this creates a never ending loop of Reddit virality. Next thing you know, you get a ton of DMs and now it's your job to get their phone number or email. So that way you move the conversation away from Reddit, Reddit because some people go on Reddit once in a blue moon and you don't want to lose a passive Reddit user who very well might end up being your biggest client. I've made that mistake. I've learned the hard way. My friend Abe runs a Reddit agency where he guarantees viral posts for you. So if you're too lazy to do it yourself, check out his email in the description below. The second blueprint is LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If you create an agent for a specific job, let's say you make your own coding system, then you want to be able to DM people whose careers would benefit from such an agent. But on LinkedIn, you gotta be connected to the person to be able to DM them unless you're using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Simply search the job title you are looking for and you can DM up to 50 people with the career you are looking for, even if you're not connected with them. This has accounted for nearly $7,000 in revenue for my shift booking agent that I've talked about in numerous videos. Since most of y'all probably have never used LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can use a free trial to start your outreach today. And this is not sponsored, I just love using it. Now here's a special method that could very well get you money for your agent before you even make it. This is something you gotta start on day one of your agent building journey. It's called building in public. Most solo developers use X to do this, but you can also use Reddit. You simply share your day-by-day -day progress in building your agent on X so people can start following your journey. This shows that you are willing to give people the inside look as you go through you know, this, this process of agent development and it builds trust and credibility in your product. All you gotta do is add a link in bio where people can click and sign up for a newsletter where you can send them constant direct updates about your agent. And the best part is, when your product is 70% ready, you can start asking for pre-orders. Now, if you play video games, you probably understand what a pre-order is. You pay for something before it is released to the public. Usually you get a discount or if it's Call of Duty, a little extra bonus, woohoo, that no one really cares about. So I just say you give the discount. It'll increase your pre-order sales by a lot. Don't be cheap. You can even use the funding you get from the pre-orders to pay for the final development of your agent. Although if you're solo building it, this can just be funds that can be used to run ads on your agent. It all starts with an idea and then you just got to make it into reality. Once you make it into a reality by building the actual agent, you simply use one, if not all these marketing methods to let the entire internet know about your agent. And once you do that, sit back and let the money pour.